Glory to God. I want to share this just real quickly. How to sow from the glory realm, not even just in the glory realm. Because sowing in the glory realm is what happens like when um, the Lord sends a glory carrier to you. And your man of God is a glory carrier. You sow in the glory realm, meaning you make the investment into the vessel that's carrying the glory for your life. So then you start sowing in the glory. But after that, you sow from the glory. And, and when you sow from the glory, you have authority over the reaping mantle, the harvest mantle. And the Lord gives you grace to become a Lord of the harvest as well. Now, saints, remember what the Bible says that Jesus is the king of kings and he's the Lord of lords. So the powerful thing about this, what, I, what, what I'm delivering to you is apostolic mystery. Because one of the lords that you become is a lord of the harvest. So you become a harvesting lord. So, so saints, when the anointing come on you to be a harvesting lord, you have power to birth harvest yourself. And so that's why Apostle Paul was talking about as you purpose in your heart, so give. Because when you start purposing in your heart, it means that you're sowing on purpose. And when you sow on purpose, you have the power to create harvests on purpose from what you purpose. Because the Lord realm is operating on you. And he's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. And one of those lords that you become when you start purposing in your heart to give is... You become a Lord of the harvest. So you have authority over the reaping grace of God. And not only the reaping grace of God, but the keeping grace of God. So now you'll step into money that the Lord will tell you, you can keep this. But saints, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you from experience, you don't get to the keeping realm of God immediately. Because if you look at your life financially, you're not in a place where you can just keep, keep, keep. Because you need the Lord to do the supernatural. And he don't want you to wait years saving up money trying to get to your financial goal. When you can sow and listen to the spirit of God. And follow through. See, saints, that one dollar thing that I did on uh, Facebook Live. That's, you remember I told y'all in front of everybody, it's not for you. It probably hurt some people feeling. I said, this... this this is not for my people that I done trained up because one dollar seeds is disrespectful. <laughs> now, watch this. If you sow the one dollar seed, I'm not talking. I'm not talking about you disrespecting me. I'm not talking about that. Please understand me. I'm not talking about you disrespecting me. Here's what I'm saying to you. I'm telling you that you done graduated from that. And if you did sow it, you're not disrespectful. Oh, you, do, you obeyed the prophet. Nothing wrong with that at all. But what I'm telling you is that you done graduated to a higher level. You sowing from the glory realm. So, so catch that, saints. I want to say that again. You're not disrespecting me. I just want you to catch that. If you sold in, in that one dollar in obedience, you obeyed me. What I'm just saying to you, and this is a compliment, you done got the teaching and the level to go higher than all of that. So you in the glory realm of sowing. All right, so which is a blessing. Can you believe I ain't got no makeup on my face? All right, praise God. Bless you.